Hello everyone, Craig Chamberlain here with the PCM Tech Help Show. That's right, the PCM Tech Help Show. We are changing our name. It's not PC Michiana anymore because it was confusing. That's at PCMTechHelp.com. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to calculate your mortgage. Sounds kind of weird. Or a mortgage payment through Windows 7. Or you can calculate your miles per gallon. That's right, it's built into Windows 7 now. So many people used to have to use you know, an online calculator or Microsoft Excel, a template or something like that. But you can do it right here in the nice comforts of your own Windows 7 environment. So let's go ahead and get started. First thing you're going to want to do is go to the Start menu button and select it, and then we're going to type in the word Calendar. And Oh, I'm sorry. Calculator. Apologize for that. And press Enter to open it up. What you have here on the view is, a lot of people are aware of this, but uh, you might not, is you can actually change the standard calculator to a scientific a programmer for doing binary math for the big geeks or statistic. And what we're going to talk about today, actually, is under the worksheets, you have the option to do mortgage. A lot of people don't realize this tool's in here. It's kind of nice. So we can do, do, oh, sure, monthly payment. My purchase price for my house, sure, let's say it was 100000 Down payment, I'm going to put 5000 down on a 30-year loan at 5.5% interest. Calculate my estimated payment. Now, remember, this is before insurance and if you're getting the FHA type loan, you got the PMI, and it's also before your uh, you got insurance taxes. So 539 a month. So that's how you calculate your uh, monthly payment. Now, you can also calculate your fuel efficiency in your car. Just click View and go to Worksheets, and then go to Fuel Economy, Miles Per Gallon. What you do is, is you just keep track of this information. Look at the little ticker on your car. You're going to go a certain distance. So reset the little ticker and drive the distance, and you'll say, oh, I went 100 miles. How many gallons of gas did I use? Four. What's my miles per gallon? 25. See, it's not really rocket science. Of course, you could do that on your own, really. But uh, if you, say, fill up your tank completely, you can see on the screen on the, on the gas station how many gallons you used, and then reset the ticker on your car, and then drive until you run out of gas, and then you have the amount of gallons used, and then you also have the amount of miles traveled. That's all you got to do. That's how you calculate your miles per gallon and your uh, your mortgage payment right here in Windows 7. There's a couple other worksheets here as well that I didn't highlight, but they are here. You can do date calculations, which allows you to actually calculate the difference between days, months, and years. You can also use con unit conversions, which this is actually a useful one if you're in college and you need to convert from one degree to another, Fahrenheit to Celsius, etc., etc., etc. And uh, you also have... A couple more fuel economy ones here, depending on what you're looking for. Vehicle lease is also a popular one. So that's all there is to this video. That's how you uh, calculate your miles per gallon on your car and calculate a mortgage payment right here in the comforts of your own Windows 7. If you like this video, go ahead and thumbs up. And also you can subscribe to us on YouTube, like us on Facebook, and make sure to follow me on Twitter. That's at Craig Chamberlain. You can also follow the website at uh, Twitter, and that's at PCM Tech Help now. Remember, PCM Tech Help. It's not PC Michiana. I know how confusing that was. So you can access our site both ways now, PC Michiana, PCM Tech Help, and all that fun. So stay tuned, plenty more videos to come, and thanks for stopping by.